I'm out here to support the Wisconsin workers. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. If we're only going to cut deficits by cutting budgets, we're going to lay off a lot of people. Certainly we're an older city and that is one area where we just simply cannot adjust for the loss in LGA. The river's always going to win. So we have to find a way to work with this river as it's moving north. What's happening now in Minnesota is that some people want to give Minnesota workers a pay cut. Minnesota is the largest state for cooperative development. You know, we have Fortune 500 companies that are member owned. Job went away, school came my way. You know, it gave me the opportunity to do what I should have done 35 years ago. I see kids who are coming from a variety of backgrounds who we are not all on an equal playing field. And I think that is the fallacy of No Child Left Behind. It's just despicable that we would shut down government to make a point that millionaires don't need to pay any more taxes. This job is state funded and now that there's no money being dispersed anywhere, we gotta wait until that's all settled. We asked superintendents if they thought that the current state funding model was beneficial towards schools. And 80% of them said that it's, it's probably going to get worse without major changes to the way we fund education. We're gonna fight that hard to make sure that we pass an infrastructure bill that puts America back to work. We transform how this country works. How this country works. But we've also got to stop looking at just my kids and my kids' school like you talk about. We've got to start talking about education for everybody. In actuality, the legislature only approved $50 per student per year in new payments, which conservatives count as $100. Minnesotans are about to get a huge sticker shock. 